वेलकम टू मिल एन आई एम पुनित एंड थ्रू दिस मल्टी पार्ट वीडियो सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एवरीथिंग वन नीड्स टू नो अबाउट परम्यूटेशन एंड कॉम्बिनेशन फॉर द जी आर ई नाउ देर आर थ्री की एस्पेक्ट अबाउट दिस कोर्स फर्स्ट इज दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द वेरी स्क्रैच सो इवन इफ यू हैव नो आइडिया वट द टर्म्स परम्यूटेशन और कॉम्बिनेशन इवन मीन यू कैन स्टिल फॉलो अलॉन्ग द सेकेंड की एस्पेक्ट अबाउट दिस कोर्स is its comprehensiveness we are going to learn every concept pertaining to this chapter the third key aspect i am certain you have already noticed it is the theme of this course will be harry potter i am certain that you are going to enjoy it let's get started the first concept that we need to know is the concept of factorial now this is how you represent factorial this means n factorial now n factorial is simply the product of all the integers less than or equal to n for instance 6 factorial is simply 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 6 factorial is the product of all the integers less than or equal to 6 Similarly, five factorial is five times four times three times two times one. Five factorial can also be written as five times four factorial, because this is nothing but four factorial. So n factorial is the product of all the integers less than or equal to n. Now let's move on to combinations and permutations. Before discussing what these concepts mean, or when are these applied? Let's first have a look at the formulas. N C R is n factorial upon r factorial times n minus r factorial. Do not get intimidated by this formula. It's very simple, and we are going to discuss its application. For now, just try to take note of this formula. Here, n is the total items, and r is the required items. we are going to discuss what this means in some time ncr is n factorial upon r factorial time n minus r factorial so if you ask the value of 5c2 here the value of n is 5 and the value of r is 2 simply put these values in the formula so 5 factorial upon 2 factorial times n minus r factorial 5 minus 2 is 3 3 factorial So five factorial is simply five times four times three times two times one. Two factorial is two times one, and three factorial is three times two times one. So this cancels out. Two twos are four. You are left with five twos are ten. Ten is the answer for five C two. The value of five C two is ten. Similarly, the formula for permutation is n p r. is equal to n factorial upon n minus r factorial so if you ask the value of 5 p 2 here the value of n is 5 the value of r is 2 substitute the values of n and r in this formula you will have 5 factorial upon 5 minus 2 factorial which is simply 3 factorial 5 factorial can be written as 5 times 4 times 3 and uh, 3 factorial upon 3 factorial this cancels out the answer is 20 the value of 5 p2 is 20 now that we have taken note of this formulas we can move on to the concepts saying it wrong it's leviosa not leviosa you do it then if you're so clever let's say you are asked this question how many epic teams of 2 can we make from a squad of 5 wizards okay let's say the 5 wizards are a b c d e you can either have a team ab you can have a team bc you can have a team cd you can have a team ba now are ab and ba the same teams or are they different teams they are the same team ab and ba form the same squad 
सो यर ऑर्डर डज नॉट मैटर यर ऑर्डर डज नॉट मैटर ए बी इज सेम एज बी ए देर आर फाइव टोटल आइटम्स एन एस फाइव एंड यू रिक्वायर टू यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट टू now whenever you are selecting r items out of n items and order does not matter you apply the formula for combination so your n is 5 r is 2 apply the formula 5c2 in the previous slide we have already calculated the value of 5c2 and that is 10 so if you were to list down all the teams of two that you can form you will get exactly 10 teams again let me reiterate whenever you are selecting r items out of n items and order does not matter you apply the formula for combination welcome to hogwarts you must be sorted into your houses they are gryffindor hufflepuff ravenclaw and slytherin okay now let's talk about this question here you have to select four students out of eight students to be put into the four houses the total of four students that you have to select out of eight students and then you have to put those four students into the four houses we know the four houses at hogwarts which are hufflepuff ravenclaw gryffindor and slytherin now let's say the students are a b c d e f g h these are the eight students let's take a case in which you put a here b here c d let's take another case in which the students are arranged in this fashion d e f g you can have students as b a g f or you can also have b a d c now think about this is a b c d the same as b a d c are these two the same arrangements no they are not because in the first case a is in hufflepuff but in the second case a is in ravenclaw so these are two completely different arrangements okay these are two different ways of putting students into the groups right so here order matters your order matters there are a total of 8 students n is 8 out of which you have to select 4 so the required or r is 4 now whenever you select r items out of a total of n items and order matters you apply the formula for permutation so 8 p 4 is the formula we know npr is n factorial upon n minus r factorial so this is 8 factorial upon 8 minus 4 factorial which is simply 4 factorial 8 factorial can be written as 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial upon 4 factorial this cancels out the value of 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 is 1680 this is the answer so there are 1680 ways to put the four students out of eight students into the four houses welcome harry to diagon alley okay let's solve this question using principle of counting method the principle of counting the name might sound intimidating but it is a very simple concept wherein you break down a bigger task into smaller component tasks for instance in this question harry has to do a round trip from hogwarts to diagon alley and back we will break this task into two smaller tasks one is going from hogwarts to diagon alley and then coming from diagon alley back to hogwarts okay we have to find the number of ways he can do the first task and the number of ways he can do the second task 
he can take any of the eight trains to go from hogwarts to diagonally he can take eight trains or there are eight ways to do the first task there is one stipulation given to us that he boards a different train each way so he can take any of the remaining seven trains for the return journey so there are eight ways to do the first task and seven ways to do the second task now remember and in pnc and probability implies multiplication and or always implies addition this is very important take note and means multiplication or means addition so and here means multiply 7 times 8 is 56 there are 56 trip combinations that you can plan okay again let me reiterate principle of counting is basically breaking down a bigger task into smaller component tasks here we broke down the bigger task into the two smaller tasks one is going from hogwarts to diagonally and then returning from diagonally to hogwarts eight ways to do the first task and seven ways to the second task and means multiplication so the answer is 56 you can also solve this question using the formula for permutations here total there are eight trains harry has to select two trains out of eight trains you require two trains let's say he takes trains x and y now going by x and returning by y is different from going by y and returning by x so here order matters x y is different from y x now whenever order matters and you are choosing two trains out of eight trains you will use principle you will use permutation sorry right whenever you are choosing r items out of n items and order matters you use the formula for permutation so 8 p2 we know n pr is n factorial upon n minus r factorial so 8 minus 2 6 factorial 8 factorial can be written as 8 times 7 times 6 factorial upon 6 factorial this cancels out you again get 56 so you can solve this question by both principle of counting and permutations formula let's do another question this question is similar to the previous question but here the last condition has been removed so you can take the same train for both the trips now let's solve this question again we will use the principle of counting method we will break down the task into smaller tasks the first task is going from hogwarts to diagonally and and the second task is returning from diagonally to hogwarts there are eight trains he can take from hogwarts to diagonally so there are eight ways to do the first task and there are again eight ways to do the second task because he can take the same train again so there are eight trains he can take now as we have discussed in the previous slide and implies multiplication so total 64 trip combinations can be planned in the previous question we used the permutations formula but in this question we cannot apply it so you are advised that whenever order matters always solve the question using the principle of counting method as a thumb rule remember whenever order does not matter apply the formula for combinations but whenever order matters always do it using principle of counting forget about the permutations formula okay now let's solve this question that we have already done using the principle of counting approach there are four houses ravenclaw Hufflepuff, Gryffindor and Slytherin. The total 8 students, any of the 8 students can be put in the Ravenclaw house. Now when one student has been put here, any of the remaining 7 students can be put in Hufflepuff. Any of the remaining 6 students can come here, any of the remaining 5 students can come here. So total there are 8 ways to put a student in Ravenclaw so there are eight ways to do the first task and seven ways to do the second task 
एंड सिक्स वेज टू डू द थर्ड टास्क एंड फाइव वेज टू डू द फोर्थ टास्क सो टोटल देर आर वन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड एटी वेज टू पुट फोर स्टूडेंट आउट ऑफ एट स्टूडेंट इन टू द फोर हाउसेज दिस इज द सेम आंसर वी गॉट यूजिंग द परम्यूटेशन फॉर्मूला सो अगेन वेन एवर ऑर्डर मैटर्स यूज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ काउंटिंग अप्रोच Now these are some additional practice questions for you to try. Attempt these and let me know the answers in the comment section. That's all for this video. In the next video we are going to explore this chapter in greater detail. See you soon. Thought you were leaving without saying goodbye, did you? Go on, I'm with you. I'm with you now.